Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will cover how to create a new ACD on an existing call management system or CMS. First, I'll cover some details about creating a new ACD on CMS. Then I will demo how it's done. ACD stands for Automatic Call Distribution. For CMS, this term corresponds to the call center ACD functionality within a single communication manager or CM switch connected to a CMS. So each ACD on CMS corresponds to a connection to one CM switch. Each CM then sends ACD data to CMS over that connection, and CMS stores and reports on that data. When CMS is first installed, one or more ACDs will be created for the number of CMs that CMS will be connected to for data collection. However, additional CMs can be connected to the CMS after initial installation. You will need to use the CMS ADM utility to create the new ACDs for these additional communication managers. This utility is located in the slash user slash bin directory. Also, you must be logged in as a root level user to run the CMS ADM utility. And you must turn off the CMS software before a new ACD can be created. This is also done with the CMS ADM utility. You don't get to choose the ACD number that will be created. The CMS ADM utility will automatically select the next ACD number in sequence for the new ACD. You must have purchased and authorized enough ACDs on the CMS system to allow for creation of a new ACD. A single CMS system can support a maximum of eight ACDs. So up to eight communication managers can be connected to one CMS system. However, the CMS server must have adequate resources to support the newly created ACD. This is covered in further detail in CMS documentation. Now I will begin the demo on how to create a new ACD. For this demo, I am logged into a lab CMS as a root level user. Before creating a new ACD, you must first turn off the CMS software. Use the CMS ADM utility to do this. The CMS administration menu displays. Enter the number associated with the run underscore CMS option. On this system, it is option number eight. Three options will display. Enter the number to turn off CMS, but leave IDS running. IDS is the Informix database used by CMS. So I'll enter two. The shutdown may take a few moments. First, the utility notifies users of the impending shutdown, and then it turns off the CMS software. When it completes, the utility exits back to the root prompt. Now to create the new ACD, enter CMS ADM again. This time, enter the number for the ACD underscore create option, which is number one on this system. This system already had seven ACDs created, so the tool automatically chose ACD number eight to create. The tool will now query you for the data necessary to create this ACD. 
first enter a name for the CM switch up to 20 characters. Do not use spaces, but you can use the underscore. I'll enter switch 8. Next, choose the switch model, meaning the release from the list. I'll select Communication Manager 6.x. If vectoring is enabled on the CM, enter Y, otherwise enter N. I'm going to enter Y. If Expert Agent Selection, or Ease, is enabled on the CM, then enter Y, otherwise enter N. This question will not display if vectoring was set to no. Again, I'm going to enter Y. If the central office has disconnect supervision, enter Y. If not, then enter N. I am going to enter Y. If you enter N for the disconnect supervision, you will be asked to enter a value for the phantom abandoned call timer, which can be from 0 to 10 seconds. ACD calls shorter than the timer will be counted as abandoned. The next question is the local port for the switch. The standard CMS procedure is to set both the local and remote port assignments equal to the switch processor channel. So if the switch processor channel in Communication Manager is set to 2, then set this local port and the next question for remote port as 2. I'll enter 64 for both local port and remote port. TCP IP is the only value allowed for the transport, so enter 1. Next, enter the host name or IP address for the communication manager. I will enter a bogus IP address for demo purposes. If you enter a host name that has not been added to this CMS servers slash Etsy slash hosts file, a warning message will display that states this switch name is not in the slash Etsy slash host file. After you create this ACD, you will need to add the switch host name to the slash Etsy slash host file. This procedure is covered in the CMS installation maintenance, and troubleshooting document on support.avaya.com. Now for the next question, enter the TCP port number administered on the switch. Typically, this will be the default of 5001. I'll press Enter to keep the default. Now enter the number of splits or skills in this ACD. You may want to enter a few more than currently used to allow for growth. The default is 500. This server allows for 0 to 8,000. I will enter 50. Next, enter the maximum number of split or skill members that will be logged into this ACD simultaneously. Remember to consider shift overlay. I will enter 300. Enter the number of shifts from 1 to 4. I will enter 2. The utility will now have you enter the start and stop times for each shift and the number of agents logged in during that shift. For the time, the format is a two-digit hour, colon, and a two-digit minute, and then either AM or PM in caps. I'll enter 7.30 a.m. for the shift one start time. I'll use 4 p.m. for the stop time. Now I'll enter 200 for the number of agents for shift one. 
you'll notice the max is 300, which is what I previously entered for total agents. I'll enter 5 p.m. for the shift to start time. The stop time will be 1.30 a.m. Finally, I'll enter 100 for the shift to agents. Enter the number of trunk groups that will be associated with this ACD. Again, you may want to increase this number for future growth. The default is 500. I'll enter 30. Now enter the number of trunks. I am going to enter 600. Next, enter the number of unmeasured trunk facilities for this ACD. These are internal trunks used for transfers, conferences, and such. The recommendation is to use 50% of the number of external trunks entered previously, so I'll enter 300. If the switch release supports call work codes, then you will be asked to enter the number of call work codes. The default is the max of 456, so I will use this default. If vectoring is enabled, then enter the number of vectors. I'm going to enter 400. Then you will need to enter the number of VDNs. I'll use 2000. The utility updates the database and computes the space requirements and DB space availability to create this ACD. If no problems were encountered, an ACD created successfully message will display. Then the utility exits to the root prompt. If the utility determined that there was not enough file space, a warning message would have been displayed. It would direct you to modify this ACD's administration in the data storage allocation screen. But the ACD would still be created. The system would not immediately run out of space. Data would need to be collected for some time before there would be an actual space issue. So you would have time to address the problem. Now you need to turn the CMS software back on. So enter CMS ADM. Again, select the Run CMS option, which is number 8. Enter 1 to turn on CMS. The utility initializes the CMS software when CMS is back up and running, the utility will exit back to the root prompt. This concludes the demo on how to create a new ACD on CMS. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.